We are in the create mode and we got twins. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your boy the Phoenix back with another Minecraft video and this time I am back inside of the create mod. I have not played this mod in a very very long time. The main reason why I decided to play this again is because of trains. Yeah, I want to build some trains and some cities. So, that's uh, with that out of the way, let's sleep and let's jump straight into this. So first things first, I actually uh, did a little bit of stuff before I hit record. And by little I mean like grab a couple of food like wheat, potatoes and stuff like that. I went on into a desert, grabbed some cactus, into a jungle, grabbed some bamboo and some stuff like that. As well as I gathered I think all the trees. I might be wrong. Yeah, I think I got all of the trees and also did a little bit of mining which yeah went pretty well. Not gonna lie, it was pretty good. But other than that, I didn't really do anything else. I did not touch even touch the create mod just yet. So yeah, that's the that's all of the things I did uh, before I hit record. And also I do have a couple of cows and sheep behind here inside two different holes. Yeah that's that and so my goal for this uh, series is like i said i want to build a city a massive city with some with a bunch of trains with with a bunch of trains man i can't talk today so without wasting any time let's just jump straight into it straight into it so um where to start where to start the first thing i think we should do is to craft us one of these guys mechanical saw and for that I need 4 iron ingots and an andesite casing. Let's see if I can still remember how to do this. So to craft the... Uh, so first of all to craft the andesite casing I think I need some andesite a lot. And to do that I'm pretty sure I need some iron nuggets. There we go. Uh, I think I need only one. Yeah I think all you gotta do is just place down this strip it and then do there we go yep that's how you craft an inside casing oh wait oh i need iron sheets okay uh-huh i forgot about that i need iron sheets so for that i need a mechanical press and there we go finally we got a mechanical press for now i'm just gonna build up a little something over here now we need a way to power this thing and to power it i'm gonna use a hand crank there we go hand crank has been crafted and it is straining which is okay so yeah that should work hopefully this that is enough i'm gonna grab some iron and throw four pieces of iron in there and I don't think this is working. Yeah, I do not think this is working. So, I guess we might have to create a, um, a water wheel setup. Okay, this is getting a little too uh, annoying. Alright, water wheel right over here, maybe? Okay, there we go, the water wheel has been placed. Now, this over here... Get a little something like that and then grab a bucket of water and plop it there. There we go. We got we, we got power now. Got power. Now I can grab the power from over there. But for that I need a couple more things. Man, this is getting way too complicated. If I grab this and place it down right over here. There we go. That should yeah, okay. Do this. Oh wait. Hold on, I think I screwed this up. If I place down one more over here, hand crank and iron, throw down the iron over here, grab the hand crank, okay, no, grab the hand crank, and then do this. There we go. I'm stupid. I placed it down in the wrong, the wrong place. Did I tell you I was stupid? Yeah, I was super stupid. There we go, a mechanical saw, finally. 
That should have been way more simpler if I didn't if I wasn't that stupid. So there we go, we got a mechanical saw. And I guess we have this thing as well. And now, if I go ahead and grab this hand crank once again, and then went over to a tree, maybe uh, maybe a dark oak one, or a jungle one. Okay, here we go, a jungle tree. And place down the saw right here, if I could just place it on the right way. And did this. Here we go. Okay, that is much, much more faster and way more easier. That is very, very cool. Over to our next tree, which is this one. I'm pretty sure that you can only do one block. Like, a, uh, if there's one block touching the ground, that's the only time which you can, like, have a harvest the tree so to speak so if i just did, did this this should work there we go yep okay that's a lot of stuff and in no time I'll, i already have a stack of uh, dark ox at the dark oak wood which is amazing so yeah this thing is really good now this is my question can i do the same thing to the mangrove trees if i did this and then did this Okay, that works. Okay, did not expect that. That is really good. I thought that you you had to place the uh, actual saw in the trunk of the tree. If that's working, that is amazing. I am really, really happy that that works. I didn't think that uh, mangrove trees would work with the mechanical saw, but I was wrong. And I'm glad that I was wrong. So that's gonna make collecting wood much much more easier so and yeah I'm gonna be collecting more wood just not now though because right now I want to sort of build a contraption to help me find some diamonds because I didn't find any diamonds in that mine yeah so I'm gonna try and build something which will help me with the mining so I do have an idea and for that I think the first thing I might need are these guys, mechanical drills. So I need to craft some super glue and for that I need some slime. And to get slime, I can use some dough and some lime dye. And to get some dough, I need to put wheat flour and water in a crafting table. And to get, get some wheat flour, I need to mill it. That's a long process, but that is what I am gonna do. So if we grab this, place it down right over here. Grab our hand crank and plop it over here. Oh wait, I think... Oh, okay, I should have checked that little uh, thingy. Okay, so if I grabbed a cogwheel and placed it over there. The diagram did show a large cogwheel, but I'm get, I'm a, like, I, I want to see if, if this works. Yep, that works. There we go, I got an achievement. There we go. Okay, we are learning things. We are learning things. There we go, a super glue. And boom. I think that's it. And now, to start building this thing. What I'm trying to build is a, a miner. A super simple one. So, if I did... There we go. And now, if I grab some mechanical drills and place the 9 mechanical drills on these face there we go and that is pretty much it like I, I can add the plow behind this so that the rails get collected but for now I think I'm good last thing I'm gonna do is to grab a minecart minecart with a furnace plunk it down over there and then change this thing to to lock rotation right here I, do, I gotta be honest I'm not really sure how to use this but so if I just right click on this mechanical drill and then did all the way over to here yeah i need to destroy these things there we go and now if i did this over to here there's a weird little uh, box over here but i think it works there we go the cart has been assembled now if i grab the wrench shift right click there we go we got it we got it we got it we got it so 
I forgot to do something. And that is I forgot to place down a couple of chests. That's much better. So now to go downstairs and start testing this thing. Not a long tunnel, but hopefully that this works. Hopefully this works. Okay. It's good so far. Now the only problem with this little design is that if it run in, runs into lava or water, that's going to be a big problem. But I think we should be fine. I didn't mind these bits, but it started mining. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I think it stopped. Okay. Yeah, that was successful. Like I was expecting this thing to break, but so I guess the next thing we have to do is to make that thing automatic so that uh, like it places down rails as it goes and also make it so that it doesn't get destroyed by lava or water Which are both things I can do, but I need resources for that. So I'm gonna go back up top because the uh, test was successful now to see if I got uh, Anything actually before we go up there Let's read it. Let's let it run over here on this level, which might be a bad idea because so this one is going to be a little tricky because there's a mine shaft over here so i'm hoping that this doesn't run into any problems so i didn't really make it that long and go and it stopped so now i'm gonna head back up and see what i got empty and this one has a little bit of stuff not too much but some iron and some cobble deep set and stuff like that over there empty and empty not too much so the next thing i'm gonna do is well basically fix this place up this is ugly so this is not going to be my permanent base but i want to make something look nice over here so without any further delay let's jump into our first time lapse of the series and get something built no time lapse because it got very very messy instead Ba -ba! Yep, I built the starter house. Okay, where were keys? There we go. Yep, I built my starter base. So, the uh, the structure I went with was a train cart, an old like, uh, an old train cart which was basically broken and placed here, popped here or somehow it appeared here somehow. It's law, okay, it's a law. So, yeah, here's the train cart design I came up with. Now, I'm not sure whether this looks like a train cart or my mind is making me think that this looks like a train cart. I'm on to you, mind. I'm on to you. But yeah, here's the little design. It's very, very simple. Uh, there's nothing much to it. So, it's, yeah, it's basically built out of terracotta and some acacia. And inside, I moved my te chest monster which was outside right into here. Now there are a bunch of chests and this place is pretty well cramped. And over on this side I have a couple of blueberries planted with a little bit of a field planted right over here. Right over here we have the tunnel which goes down into the mines. And over here we still have those two holes with our mining machine way over there. I don't know why I placed it so far away, but I placed it and I, I forgot to move it. So, yeah, that's the back of the build and here's the front of the build. The front, I am really, really happy about how this turned out. We have a couple of bamboos planted here and there uh, in random random places. We have some pumpkins and some, and some jack-o'-lanterns as our lighting. A little bit of moss right over there in the front. Some of these guys, some uh, mangrove roots to add a little bit of... I don't know, depth, uh, bushy edge, if that's even a real word. And then over here on the side, we have our mill, press, and our furnace set up right over here. And that's basically it. And on over here, over there, we have a pumpkin and melon farm. And over there, we have a little bit of a sugarcane set up with a path going all the way over to the river. Speaking of the river, let me show you guys what my uh, main base location looks like. Make it away over across the river and over to the island right in front of us this will be our main base location right here i 
think somewhere around here i'm gonna add a structure which is gonna be my main storage slash town center city center bed so yeah here's a little base location it's um it's pretty tough the terrain is pretty tough because there are a bunch of hills here and there and i might i'm gonna have to do a lot of terraforming to get this thing done but i am excited because i have not done a big terraforming project so very excited about this there are a couple of noodle caves around here as well and so yeah here's the little base location uh, that this thing is much bigger than this this is just the part which got rendered in with the uh, replay mode and as a final thing for this video let's catch ourselves a blaze now where did i build that nether portal bingo uh, let's place this down over here and now time to light this baby up now is this a bad idea going into the nether without literally having any piece, any piece of armor you bet it is but am i a stupid guy yes so let's just jump in and see where we spawn in okay there we go we are in the nether right now now um i mean we are in a pretty pretty safe safe place so uh yeah let me just uh, try and find a fortress this might be very hard though whoa i think we found one i think we found one yep we are right under it okay that's pretty good we made it now to quickly go ahead and find a the, the, the a blade i think i found it yep found it now for the hardest bit not die got it got it got it got it and now we run and... made it made it okay we are safe i think not looking back not gonna look back we made it and we got a blaze in a cage yep we got a blaze in a cage, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna put this guy uh, right here. Right here. I caught you, buddy. I caught you. So now we have that. And that is pretty good. Because next time I can start working on the actual main base over there. The first thing I need to build is a farm. Specifically a creeper farm. So in the next episode, we will build that because I do not have an idea on what to build. So with that said, my friends, that unfortunately brings us to the end of today's video. We got a lot of things done. I mean, we went in the nether, we caught a blaze, we created a mining drill. Oh, wow, we did a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys did, please be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on today's video and consider subscribing because according to youtube most of you which watch my videos are not subscribed please change that that will be really appreciated so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and in hopes to see you guys in the next video let me know what i should do in the next with next video as well and with that said i will catch you guys later we got a blaze in a cage